So in the previous video, what I showed was a image gallery that works with a live version of Runway, where you can type a description and have an image show up in my gallery. The images are generated automatically using, using Attention GAN, which is a text-to-image machine learning algorithm. And as you can see, it can produce some pretty funky results. What's interesting here is that this runs um, on our machine, but also runs in the cloud through Runway. However, what we see here is that if we deploy this, we need to have a working version of Runway running on our local machine, which doesn't work. We can't run that in the cloud. So to make that run in the cloud, we have to do it a bit differently. Not too much though. It's not that much going on. And what I'm going to do is search again for attention GAN. This is the GAN that we can get that text to image generation GAN going and then choose learn more. And here what I can do is I can host a model. I think in the free version of Runway, you can only host one model. In the creator's edition, you can host as many as you want. So if this is your only model, then you have to choose. But here I'm going to choose host model. It's going to say which model, attention again, which command it has to run, which is called generate, and then the subdomain. So where is this model going to be hosted? This is automatically generated. It's fine for me. Let's choose host model. That's going to run that model in the cloud. As you can see, I have another one running here as well. As well. They start up and then at some point they also go to sleep again. As you can see, this model hasn't been used in a while, so it's asleep. It doesn't do anything at the moment. So I'm going to wait for this to wake up. And then while I'm waiting for this, I'm going to click on this code icon. And here what I can do is I can copy a piece of code. So I can work from the previous code. I'll quickly go through what I did here. So I made some styling for that. I made a caption form that contains a header, an input, and a button. As you can see, that's this element. And then below that, we have an empty grid that contains our results. As you can see, it's not so empty anymore. But here, it contains these different uh, image results. And then finally, we have all this generate functionality. This is this. And that's going to need to change, because here we want to use a hosted model. So the first thing I have to do looking at the documentation is include this script into my HTML file. I'm going to include this right above my own script, otherwise my script will not take residence. It's going to need that hosted model to run. And then what I'm going to do in Runway is copy and paste this piece of code, which is the uh, model itself. So that's our Runway hosted model, and we'll do that above the generate function. So this is basically initialization code that hosts the model. And then we have our generate function. And here, a couple of things need to change. I think the best thing that we can do is basically throw everything away and show you from scratch how that works. So first thing we need to do is get the caption, which we did before. So either using document get element by ID with the caption. Caption is the name that we gave that input element. It's here, dot value. You can also use query selector if you want and use the hashtag. And then as you can see, it says, well, take the inputs and that's the caption and paste that in. So this part is tricky. That needs to change to caption. That needs to change in the name of this variable because this variable is going to contain whatever we typed in. And then what I need to do is query this model. So before I had this whole fetch query, I don't need to do that anymore. Instead, I get this um, easier way of using that. So I'm going to put that here. I'm going to save it quickly so I auto format my code. Again, you can do this from the command palette and choose format document. And then here, what I'm going to do with the result is create a new image. So an image tag using create element image and set the source of that. So the URL of that to the result. And I'm going to take my results grid and prepend that image. So place that image first. Cool. So now if I save and I go back here and I type something, I should get it working. Again, check the console first if you don't have any errors. If you do have any errors here, um, let's say I have something weird here, then it's going to give me an error here. And you should check that out and see on which line that happens. And so 
check out that line or the lines before that to see if you find the error. And now I should be able to generate, as, I see, as you saw, I did it twice here. I can press generate and that's going to generate a model. But now the model no longer depends on runway by itself, but it runs this remote model. As you can see, it's running here. It's in this uh, waking up state. I think it actually should be in this running state or something. But this is, uh, as you can see, it has two requests. So this is the model uh, that I can do. Boy. And now it's looking for that and it's generating these images. And this is a website that I can now deploy, for example, to something like Netlify, where I can take my site, log in, make an account here. I already have an account. And then what I can do, even if without using Git, uh, I can take my text to image project, drag it on here. That's going to deploy that site. And now I have this online and now I can have my gallery actually run uh, in the cloud very easily. That's it. Thanks for watching.